friend Gaston asked me to come to Bolivia to skate a salt desert and that he's planning to build a park in a salt desert, I was just, could be like interesting. We're in the roof of the world. We're 3,653 meters above sea level and we were building. first like 100 meters in the car and saw this uh, structure of the desert. Yeah, it was really impressive. It's like an ocean without an end. You can see an end. You head into the desert and you have to, I mean, the first thing you have to do is to pick a place. And we drive a lot, many directions, many times, many tries, you know, until we find an area without cracks. I'm not an expert, but it's like, around four inches under the floor where they can get the bricks. We build with blocks, like on, on, on blocks, right? Like just like bricks, pow, pow, one brick after the other. And these guys with axes would carve the bricks so that we could create the transitions. This was all made by hand and with axes, so it took forever to do it. The problem was that once all that was laid on together, it was still really rough, so we had to find a way to go through it. This right here, this is my guy. Master up here. I got the crew. <laughs> this guy knows, eh? The weather is, it's terrible. It's just, it's really hot when it's hot, it's really cold when it's cold, it's windy all the time. My lips are like, you know, broken. And I, we're, we're happy, but it's been harder than we thought. Imaginé que las rampas serían, que solo serían rampas como para pasear, sino pensé que podían haber como botadoras, ver transfer, para poder resbalar en sal. Fue algo muy, muy sorprendente. El skatepark es kind of a street spot skatepark that you can see like in the cities as well. All built in salt. I didn't know if the wheels will roll. I didn't know nothing. So when I saw it, I was like, what? So sick. The skate salt, that's the most difficult part for sure, but also the height, because this place is so high from the sea level, it's like you get really exhausted. Every try you have to kind of calm down a little bit and take, take a breath, then try again. As I said, you have to get used to the height, you know, it's 3,600 meters, which is no joke. The, the weather was definitely uh, something to put on top of the height. And not only that, then we also had, for three days, we had a windstorm with incredible wind. I, I wouldn't be able to say how many knots, but like super hard wind and the cold. The temperature out here in the salt flats, minus 25 Celsius at night, which is a, like, it's a lot. It's way beyond the freezing point. So that's really harsh. Every morning we would wake up, go have breakfast, and it was minus 13. There were days when we were like, we're not gonna, this is not gonna happen, you know? This is just wrong. And then the next day it was like, wow, we're doing this and it's incredible. And then the next day, oh, it's terrible again. 
these conditions to work there to build this kind of skate park after the sea salt uh, blocks. It's really impressive, they are really heavy. We're even close to imagining that we will be able to create this skate park and we would even get to see the, the, the caliber of tricks these guys did. Incredible tricks and once you go and skate it and you try and skate it, you notice that it's really difficult to skate there. So each trick that you're going to see on the edit had a, a lot of, of, of work and was no, no easy deal, you know. The sun hits the salt and your eyes start to get tired. The flat was, that made it harder because it wasn't that smooth and there was like small salt all over the place. We have to brush the whole thing like many times. It was a really good experience. I never thought I would come this kind of place to escape for. I have that remember for the life. I've been skating in the south in Bolivia. <laughs>